Hello everyone, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a PCS tool from lockpicktools.com. I was shown this by uh, Practical Covert and I was very interested in it because it has this mechanism right here that when you pull out a pick, it tightens up. So you have a nice strong pick to pick with now, which is really freaking awesome. You don't find that too often which was actually an issue that the Swick was trying to address. But another thing I also liked about it is the, um, the pocket uh, clip on here. So you can clip it onto something, which is even better. So it's not just free floating around in your pocket. Um, the way it works is we have a hex head bolt here that is embedded into the side of the handle. It kind of fits right there perfectly. And when you tighten, screw this part onto that bolt, it gets to the point where it gets screwed on enough where it tightens the body in and pinches the metal enough to tighten a pickup. Let me show you what I put on here and how I did so. So actually before I take that off, go ahead and undo all those. So <clears throat> here are the tools I have on here. Practical Cover has a few different tools on the inside and I can show you why in a second. I'm not sure if you modified his at all. But yeah, here are the tools I have on here. These are all from the Covert Companion. Uh, I really like their tools, which is great. Um, the Companion itself is kind of just um, not very stable um, for picking with because everything just kind of free floats around. So it's not my favorite to pick with. Anyways, these uh, picks here, they're a little bit long for this handle. So I had to modify a little bit. It was a little bit long here. This piece of plastic came down to about the tip of my finger. So I took a Dremel and just kind of dribbled it in there. And the holes that were previously there go all the way back in the handle. So if you Dremel this in a little bit, right here in the middle that way, you're okay because those holes on the top and bottom will stay there. <clears throat> the only one that's really important is the top hole. And the reason being, because once all your picks are in here, it doesn't even matter, <clears throat> excuse me, if that, that one's all the way down or not. These combs are plenty far down, or as far down as they get, but at least as long as the um, the turning tool here fits over it, it fits just fine. And that little that little bend gives a little bit of room there, but it's not that important. The bend more so is to keep the turning tool in. It creates a little spring pressure, so when you're pushing it into that hole there, it creates spring pressure to hold it in to the tip like that. So there we go. <clears throat> and so putting together your tool, uh, you notice how mine right now, when I, it's done spinning, uh, to tighten up, it finishes about right there in the spot, the way you want it to be. So it's not in the way you hold it perfectly. And to get that to work, what you want to do is, so you have the bolt that goes through. You can see the bolt right there is sticking out. That's all it is, is this little bolt. And if you're finishing turning and the tool is like up here or over here or whatever, it's in the way, all you simply got to do is push the bolt out a little bit like that so the head sticks out, turn the head one inch or, you know, one notch or however many notches you need and keep doing that over and over until it finishes up and you end up with it in the proper position. And a, another tip for um, putting this together with the... Uh, getting all the holes lined up for the picks so yeah in the proper position like that so that is the position this the rotation this bolt needs to be in um to get the picks in here another thing to do is just take take them uh the bolt set them all on top of that bolt so they all line up perfectly stick the edges of them just in here then take that bolt out push them in a little bit and just kind of wiggle the bolt in that way um, it can be a little bit tedious to put together just because of the looseness of everything. But once it's put together, this thing, um, this thing rocks. I'm pretty excited about it, really. I'm really uh, happy uh, Covert showed me this because, yeah, um, having just a clip on the side and a solid pick is nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, there are other tools that um, have solid um, works on them. I mean, the old school Hayoshi tools, uh, you pull it out put it there and it still wiggles a little bit but at least there's something to hold it another one we have is the the swick which is a very strong locking mechanism this thing is tough you have to pull them all out figure out which one you want 
put it back like that. That is a nice strong, it wiggles a little bit still, but it's still, it's a nice strong um, clasp there that keeps it stuck. However, this has been the strongest yet. This doesn't wiggle at all. I really like this. Anyways, uh, Practical Covert, thank you for showing me this. And uh, again, this is the PCS tool from lockpicktools.com. Uh, covered instruments, again, uh, I see that you guys probably uh, uh, bought this tool somehow, but I'm not sure if there's a way you can modify the bolts on here to sit in the body at all and find something like this to put on the side because that would make this thing so, so much more useful, especially because the great thing about the companion is the amount of uh, tools that's on it. That is the offer on this com on the companion. It's nice. Anyways, thanks for watching, and PCS tool from lockpicktools.com.